I went all in on TypeScript in 2012 and at that time I had been programming for around 10 years. So I've dabbled and I continue to dabble in a lot of other programming languages and one of them is Dart. I've written about my issues with Dart before but it's looking like it's becoming a proper programming language if your definition of proper is JavaScript. Let me explain. Robert runs an excellent YouTube channel and I definitely recommend that you check it out if you want to learn more about Dart and one of his recent videos is about records which is a new feature coming in Dart 3 in 2023. I'll let Robert summarize what that is. Let's actually delete the entire class. So instead of a location as the return type, we will actually just have a return type of two values. We will have them as integers for now. So now we have two integer values as return types we can do something called destructuring. So here we can get the, the values out. So latitude, longitude. And if you've been doing JavaScript or TypeScript for a while, you know that we have had this feature for ages. This is simply a tuple. In fact, this is used heavily by front-end frameworks like React for its hooks like a use state. And here we have a function called location that is designed to return a tuple consisting of two numbers, which is simply an array consisting of two members which has the values one and two. And we have had destructuring for a while as well. So we can easily destructure the return values from location into two simple variables, lat and long. And with TypeScript, we can also name the members of our tuples. So here we are giving the name latitude and longitude to the first and second member of the array that is returned from location better. This is purely for documentation purposes and it has no impact on the usage of our function. Now there is actually a cooler feature built into Dart records as well, which allows you to name your fields. Once more, I'll let Robert explain. So let's imagine instead of used int int, which doesn't really say too much, we can give them names, but now we can actually give them names. Let's imagine that latitude now is going to have another name, subscribe and longitude, Robert. And in case you were wondering, this is an even older feature within JavaScript called objects. So here we have a simple location function that returns an object consisting of two simple properties, latitude and longitude, both of type number. And of course, when we invoke the location function, we can destructure its result into different variables. And another feature that we've had for a while is the ability to rename the variables during destructuring, which is also a new feature coming to Dart 3. This ties into another popular question that I get, which is why React Native over Flutter? And there are lots of reasons for this, but your programming language choice is definitely one of them. With React Native, you get to use TypeScript and with Flutter, you get Dart. Neither are perfect, but there is one that I definitely enjoy more. As always, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.